Wrangler's campground at Land Between the Lakes in western Kentucky was uh, one of the stops for the students the and video crew as they I mean? mounted up on horseback for a trail ride. And it was the first time to be on a horse for many of the students. That's what made the trip adventurous and forced students to get outside their comfort zone. I know what I want to do, but I haven't really explored like the tourism and travel side of HMT. So I wanted to um, go out of my comfort zone, explore a little bit, and see if I really liked it. The idea to bring a TV crew along and record what happens was suggested to class instructor Jason Swanson, and the project took off from there. So I started making connections and uh, talked with some producers and other folks at KET, and they, they just really liked the idea of some college students exploring Kentucky and kind of seeing the state through the eyes of college students. Kentucky Educational Television agreed to air the six-part series, which was independently produced as a video crew from Wrigley Media followed the students on their week-long journey around Western Kentucky. Every day has been a surprise. It's been interesting. And Emmy uh, Award winner Doug High is the executive producer of the project <laughs> and tagged along with the crew and field producer editor Caitlin Kirk. I feel like I'm just kicking back observing the magic happening, but it, it, it really is happening right before us. We're seeing these, uh, these UK students just literally being transformed through the travel, through the bonds they're forming along the travel. Uh, Kentucky's uh, a pretty magical place and uh, we're seeing it all happen right in front of us. In addition to horseback riding and many other activities throughout the week, the students visited Wycliffe Mounds State Historic Site, an interpretive center that once was a Native American village of the Mississippian Mound Builders. Students used prehistoric tools and learned about artifacts. They also visited Two Rivers Fisheries and learned about the processing and exporting all varieties of carp and other freshwater fish that are caught in area lakes and rivers. The experiences helped transform the students. This really brings like good memories and good thoughts of my childhood back and I really, that's why I appreciate this so much. What the class is actually about, transformative travel, so that's how travel can impact the traveler. So as we go from place to place in our normal travels, what does that travel mean to us and how do we change because of the travel? Being out here, I'm already out of my comfort zone. I mean, I'm in the country. Like, I <laughs> At the end of each day, the students had a debriefing session, an open discussion in front of the cameras where they talked about what they did and saw that day and how it impacted or transformed them. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.